Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to talk about Castor Maritime Inc. stock symbol CTRM. A lot of people reached out to me asking to do the review. Here I am. I also ended up buying a small position in CTRM myself. I sold some of the stock, booked the profit and bought the stock. I'm going to talk about what are the pros and cons of investing in this stock. This is a penny stock. Penny stock has their own risk and reward. Only invest the money that you're willing to lose. Things work out well you can double triple your money Esther maritime inc is one of those companies i'll talk about what the company does where the stock price is how the volume spiked up some of the analysis into the stock price that has been trading lately in last few trading sessions i'll also share about like why i bought this stock and what do i think as my personal opinion it took me a while to post this video so click the like button subscribe to my channel for future videos and share this video with your friends friends and family so they can also take an advantage of the analysis that I've already done. TRM is closed at 37 cents. So keep in mind, do not invest your entire savings into one stock. TRM is closed at 37 cents, up 27% in today's trading session. After hours, 38 cents right now, and it is up 1.61%. There is a lot of buzz about this stock starting yesterday. TRM is a shipping company. We are a growth oriented oriented global shipping company engaged in the seaborne transportation of a wide range of tribal commodities along worldwide shipping routes through our ownership of tribal vessels. It's a very small company. They have a revenue of 2.79 million in Q3 2020 and their net income is negative $580,000. Their net profit margin is negative 20.78%. Their operating income is negative $314,000. Cash on hand, 37 million. They had a couple of direct offering of their stocks, uh, which is where they got the cash and their cost of revenue is 2.16 million. Cost of revenue is pretty high, but they're investing in buying new New vessels which is why the cost of revenue is pretty high they were profitable at one point in my research i found in q4 operating income was seven hundred twenty thousand dollars, and their net income was five hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars for the revenue of 289 million their cost of revenue is again higher and higher because they're buying more vessels company has been losing money in quarters q1 they were negative two hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars in q2 they were negative one hundred and forty four thousand dollars q3 they are negative $580,000, whereas they have cash on hand $37.64 million. Their cost of revenue is high as I as I talked about. One of the things that you also want to notice before you buy this stock is CTRM receives the 180 day extension from NASDAQ to meet the NASDAQ minimum bid requirement rule. This is something that you definitely want to note. A global shipping company specializing in the ownership of dry bulk vessels announces today the receipt of notification letter from NASDAQ stock market granting the company an additional 180 day extension until June 28, 2021 to regain the compliance with the NASDAQ's minimum bid requirement. There is a risk that this company may get delisted. Now there is a high possibility as well with the speculation and the volume and the way the price is volatile that it may hit one dollar now if you think about it what the stock price is right now 37 cents three times money if they hit the one dollar bid minimum requirement and we have been seeing a lot of stocks lately including uh, bngo ehek and other stocks other penny stocks that they had the requirement and they they were able to hit the one dollar mark and stayed there for 10 consecutive day for caster until june 28 2021 stock was trading very low as you can see 18 cents on december 28th it was 19 cents it was 23 cents on december 30th and from there it picked up to 26 cents today it is closed at 37 cents so there's definitely some momentum i'll go over the volume the way the stock is trading for last few days the company can cure this deficiency if the closing bid price of its common shares are above one dollar at least for 10 consecutive business day the company is also this is very important as well the company is also in intends to 
regain the compliance with the minimum bid price requirement within the second compliance period considering all available options including the reverse stock split company has uh, announced multiple registered direct offering a few days back they had 26 million dollars in registered direct offering a couple of weeks back they announced 18 million dollars registered direct offering and they're buying more and more vessels which will impact the revenue the revenue will uh, go up as they have more vessels uh, the company definitely has the future they're investing uh, into their growth the money that they receive from the investors so that's something that you want to consider what are some important things about CTRM that you want to know the company has completed a direct offering of its share that was announced last week it's selling 137 million shares of CTRM stocks to the investors at the price of 19 cents per share the stock is not spiked up a lot from 19 cents at the moment today it was trading at 37 cents there might be still more room to, to spike up the investors who invested in this company interested that to, to make sure that the stock is trading in Nasdaq and that makes me think there is a good possibility that stock can hit one dollar at the same time the stock can go to zero and you can lose all your investment so be uh, be careful before you invest anything into the stock now the direct offering also includes the warrants that are exercisable at 19 cents each the warrants can be exercised immediately and expire five years after their issue date CTRM notes that are offering the company gaining about 26 million dollars in gross profit and that's where that they got the money the cash on hand to buy the vessels the company's focus in international shipping with its own dry bulk vessels it targets medium term charter and focuses on several dry goods such as coal and grains CTRM's bulk fleet is made up of six vessels and the company is looking to expand with the acquisition of more ships Castro Maritime is still a fairly new company and they were founded in 2017 the company is pretty small uh, started in 2017 they have pretty small market cap as well stock up 21.7 percent on Tuesday once again the stock is up 26.96 percent so almost 27 percent today and it is up 2.42 percent in after hours during the after hours Take a look at the volume that I have been uh, I've been talking about the volume was pretty small in December the stock was trading around 16 cents uh, uh, the volume was between three to six million it was as high as 8 million on December 23rd starting December 24th the stock spiked up uh, the volume spiked up to 67 million and all the way up to 152 million the stock was still trading at 24 cents uh, from there the volume spiked up 288 million on January 5th and we all know what happened lately with the penny stock if the volume goes high and if there is a lot of talk about a stock that means the stock gains momentum stock gains volume and that does mean that the stock usually uh, spikes up in price it doubles or triples and we have seen that consistently with BNGO with CHEK with the uh, ZOM the ZOM stock OEG and I came across a lot of penny stocks lately that had promising returns I booked my profit I also want to encourage you to book your profit and make sure that you gain uh, keep booking profit to make sure that you have a green portfolio when the volume was 288 million the stock was still trading at 27 cents since then the volume doubled once the volume doubled from 288 levels to 580 million stock is still around 28 to 35 cents stock hit as high as 40 cents today and the volume is uh, highest ever to 678 million traded stocks in today's trading session on January 13th as you can see after hours the volume is uh, the volume is high after hours as well right now stock chart is showing in a positive direction so there is there's a lot of momentum as I mentioned once again this is a very risky company and you can lose all your money as well um, as you can see uh, the stock was five dollars in 2019 as high as seven dollars and 21 cents since then the stock came down all the way 21 cents in 2020 stock is uh, still trading around 20 30 cents there is no really a game change in company's business model or anything along those lines they have a few direct offerings stock price has been decreased dramatically as you can see the company is investing a lot more money into buying new vessels that means that uh, bumping up the revenue but 
I do not still see that something that can 10x the revenue due to some technology that they are using due to some business model that they have changed due to a huge market share. This is a really, really traditional game uh, where you have more vessels. That means that you have more revenue and that does mean that you have more profit. So fundamentally, the company is a shipping company. There is not really something innovative here. But once again, the stock may be uh, may touch one dollar to regain the Nasdaq compliance. If not, then they have the company has time until June and they can reverse split the stock. So once again, please do your own due diligence and research before you buy and buy or sell the stock. I'm not a financial advisor. I wanted to share the research and data that I found out because a lot of people reached out to me and asked for the analysis and review. So I am posting this video. Please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. I hope you found this information helpful. Thanks, guys.